Today I'm going to show you how to run your Java project inside a Docker container inside Visual Studio Code. That way you don't even have to have Java installed on your computer. Let's get started. Here I have an empty Java project open and the first thing we want to do is go to the bottom left corner and click on the green square with the greater than and less than signs and then click the option to reopen in container. It may take uh, a couple of seconds and then we will see a list of different definitions that uh, we can create the configuration file from. So we will choose Java and then we can choose the Java version. I just picked the default one and, and then we can skip the Node.js version. If you want to install different build tools like Maven or Gradle, then you can do that here as well. I'm not going to do that. Uh, then it will ask us if we want to add any additional features. We don't need any of that right now. So I'm gonna skip that as well. And then it may take a few seconds or minutes depending on how hard your laptop or computer is running. Uh, to, to create this remote container. And you can see the log of what's happening by clicking certain dev container show log and in the terminal you will see what is happening. Not that you will understand any of what's happening, but at least you can see. And at the bottom left corner again, you will see that it's opening remote. So whenever it's done opening, then you know you're good. So after it's done, in the bottom left corner, you will see that opening remote switch to dev container Java. And in the file explorer inside Visual Studio Code, we can see the new .dev container folder. And it will contain the configuration for this dev environment. So you'll see the dev container.json and the Docker file. And you don't really need to change anything, assuming you have selected the configuration that you actually wanted. The next thing we wanna do is create a new Java project. So you can press Control, Shift, and P at the same time. If you're on the Mac, it would be Command, Shift, P. And then you can type Java, and create Java project. And then we can once again select no build tools and then just click OK for the default workspace and give it a project name. I'm just gonna name it uh, test proj. It will open a new VS Code window, but you can close it because we can run and debug code from this container that we already in. So if you go inside the test proj folder inside the source and app.java, you will see the hello world program. And if you click on the debug icon or maybe the play icon if you haven't debugged your code yet. You can just click it and it will either run your code or debug it. And I accidentally clicked it twice so let me cancel one of those. Just a warning, it's going to be pretty slow the first time you run it. After the first one, it shouldn't be as slow anymore. And it applies for both running and debugging your code. So here, once it's done important projects and setting things up, we should hit this breakpoint where it prints the hello world line. And as you can see, it did hit it. So now we can either go to the next step, which we don't really have anything here, or just click continue and it will finish running the program. And to show you that it is indeed faster to debug after the first try, we can change hello world to hello YouTube and debug it again. And as you can see, it is considerably faster this time. And that's it. That's how you run and debug your Java code inside a Docker container inside VS Code. And while you're waiting for VS Code to set up your dev container, go watch a video on how I prepared for my Amazon interview.